In these problems, we're being asked to determine if an ordered triple is a solution to a system of three equations. And since they're giving us these choices here, probably the easiest way to figure this out is to just try to plug them in. The first number in each of these triples is x, then y, and then z. You can plug them into the equations and see if they work. The minute you find one that doesn't work, you can eliminate that as a possible answer because whichever one of these is right, it's going to satisfy all three of these equations. So there's a little bit of work um, there, and actually there's a lot of potential to make some silly calculating errors. We'll try to avoid those. But uh, let's give it a try. Let's start with a. So I'm going to put in 1 half for x, so 4 times 1 half, minus 4 times, and we'll put in a 4 for y, and plus 8 times 3 fourths for z equals negative 8. So what do we get here? 4 times 1 half is 2, minus 16, plus, and that would be a 6, and actually that comes out, that does equal negative 8. So maybe a is our right answer, but so far it only satisfies the first equation. Let's um, check it with the second. So 8 times 1 half plus 4 times 4 minus 4 times 3 fourths equals 11. Let's see if this one works out. We've got 4 plus 16 minus 3 and that one is not going to work out. 4 plus 16 is 20, minus 3 would be 17. That does not equal 11. So A is out. Let's move on to B, see what we get there. We'll plug these numbers into the first one. So 4 times 1 half, minus 4 times a negative 1, plus 8 times a negative 3 equals negative 8. And we get 2 plus 4 minus 24 equals negative 8, and I don't think that one works out. Yeah, it's definitely um, not negative 8. So B is out. Let's check C here. Again, we'll start plugging them into that first equation. 4 times 1 half minus 4 times 1 plus 8 times negative 3 fourths equals negative 8, and we get 2 minus 4 minus 6 and that does equal a negative 8, so maybe C is it. We still have to verify the other two. And uh, I'll do one more, and then I'll let you know that C is the right answer. But let's just check the second one. We've got 8 times 1 half plus 4 times 1 plus, whoops, sorry, minus 4 times a negative 3 fourths equals 11. So that would be 4 plus 4 plus 3, and that indeed is 11. And if you were to check out uh, the last equation up here with these numbers, you'd find out it satisfies that one too, and C is going to be our answer. So that's the approach we're taking here. A little bit of work, um, but probably easier than trying to do the work involved in solving a system of three equations. Let's take a look at one more. So here, actually this one is, has got a nice easy equation to start. x plus y plus z equals 4. So we know right off the bat that all three numbers added together are going to equal 4. So if you look at a, we can take that out right away because negative 6, negative 2, and 4 does not add up to 4. So that one's out. b, negative 4, 2, and 6, that works. And 6, 2, and negative 4, that works. So let's try b, see if it gets us anywhere. We know it satisfies the first equation. Let's try it with the second one. So negative 2 times a negative 4 minus 2 plus 6 equals negative 18. So negative 2 times a negative 4 is positive 8 minus 2 plus 6, and that does not equal negative 18. So we've already eliminated A and B. Let's try C. It could be that it's none of these. We'll see. So let's put C into the second one. We have negative 2 times 6 minus 2 plus a negative 4 equals negative 18. So negative 2 times 6 is negative 12 minus 2 minus 4. And lo and behold, that is a negative 18. And if you go on and you plug these numbers in to the third one, well, let's go ahead and do that. It's only one more. So we've got 6 in for x minus 2 times 2 minus 6 equals 6. So 
whoops, sorry, minus, minus a negative 4. So that's actually, yeah, minus a negative 4. So that's going to be a plus 4 there. So 6 minus 4 plus 4 equals, does indeed equal 6. So that checks out, that triple works. So that's a little bit of work with uh, verifying that an ordered triple is a solution to a system of three equations.